congratulations to Andy Lee. Really, really great to see him winning the version, the WBO version of the middleweight title. Um, as I mentioned in my pre-fight video, whilst I was picking Korobov, um, been a big fan of Andy Lee, followed him for a long time now. I'm really, really pleased to see him succeeding at this level. Uh, effectively, Korobov was probably winning the fight on points. I think the judges had him up four rounds to one going into the sixth round. And Andy Lee found a, a big punch, was able to wobble Korobov. You could see Korobov sort of go into his cell. Andy Lee swarmed all over him, was able to force the stoppage. Korobov stopped on his feet. The concern for me is, and I'll probably talk more about this than I will about the fight itself, is that in terms of rating Andy Lee, this is the second fight in a row where he's actually been losing a fight, in my opinion. The first one was his light middleweight class against John Jackson, which he won by devastating fifth round knockout. But in my opinion, in both this fight and that John Jackson fight, Lee was behind on the scorecards and potentially in this fight quite badly behind. He was being outworked, potentially being outboxed. And it's been his power that's got him through. With John Jackson, Lee was in against the light middleweight and was able to land a devastating knockout. With Matt Korobov, whilst it was a guy who was a genuine middleweight and with amateur pedigree, it was a guy who hadn't really been tested in a professional ring. And in hindsight, having watched this fight, it's possibly clear why he wasn't tested and why he was navigated in this fashion to a world title shot. Korobov looked out of his depth when he was hit. He lacked the sort of experience to take a knee. Had he done that, perhaps he could have had a bit of a rest, recuperated, got back into the fight. But instead, he let Andy Lee swarm over him and effectively gave the referee Kenny Bayless little choice but to call the fight off. It would have been better for Korobov to take a knee. But not only did Korobov lack that experience, he also seemed to lack the punch resistance of a world-class middleweight. Um, and I guess my concern with Andy Lee after this fight is, yes, he's got power, yes, he can clearly hit, yes, he's good enough to stop the likes of Matt Korobov, and he's good enough to stop the likes of uh, John Jackson at light middleweight. But from now on, all the fights he's going to be in are probably going to be harder fights. And the question for me is, we're talking about a guy here who loses rounds early, who can be outworked, who can be outboxed. In my opinion, whilst he's, he does hit hard, and he looked quite punishing against these opponents, he's not a Gennady Golovkin-style puncher at middleweight. He's not a Lemieux-style puncher at middleweight. And I wonder whether when he faces a tested, genuine middleweight, someone who's genuine middleweight in size, and someone who's a genuine middleweight in terms of a tested record, if his power isn't enough, could we see him getting badly outworked and losing a wide decision? Now, I do think that's possible, because, as I say, whilst I find Andy Lee's style attractive, also, I think he's got some good skills, some good attributes. Obviously, he's got good power. And whilst I am a fan of him, both as a bloke and as a boxer, I don't think he's top class in terms of his in-ring capabilities. I think he's defensively quite open. And I think Korobov, who himself looked solidly unspectacular, was able to win the early rounds. Now, I need to go away and have a think, and I'll probably do a video in the next day or two about how I see the, the Andy Lee, Billy Joe Saunders fight going, because that looks to be next. But for me, whilst I'm very, very delighted for Andy Lee, I'm unconvinced. I still don't think Korobov represents the top of the middleweight division, particularly after this performance. And as I mentioned in my pre-fight vid, 
I still think there's a lack of a world class win on Andy Lee's resume. With the depth of talent we have at middleweight, Golovkin, Quillen, Cotto, Hassan and Jickham, I could go on. For me, this win doesn't catapult Andy Lee to the top of the division. And I think a lot of guys out there will be licking their lips at the chance to fight him. Because I think he is open defensively. I think it is possible to score points against him and to win rounds. And I think a fighter with the combination of Korobov's technical and amateur capabilities combined with a sort of more tried and tested middleweight chin has the potential to take Andy Lee's belt from him. Nonetheless, please for Andy Lee. Delighted he could get the job done. Hope he gets a few very nice paydays out of it. He deserves it. Clearly a very nice man. Clearly a man who's worked very hard for this success. But I remain unconvinced after this fight. Let me know your thoughts. Am I being a bit harsh? Thanks for watching.